hi guys i am back with another video how are you guys doing today i'm doing pretty good i just want to check on you guys and see how you're doing are you back to work you got stuff going on you're quarantining are you tired of this quarantine ready for it to be over what is up with all of this but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get into the topic i figure i'll do it this way go ahead and just you know record this way and stuff so our topics for today will be Nicki minaj pregnant Celine threatens to release sex tapes of her and Snoop. And your girl, Princess, files for a divorce from Ray J. So, y'all know how Celine Powell is. I don't know why people keep messing with her or keep, you know, being with, I don't know if they want their name to be out there. They just don't care. She just that good. I don't know. But they constantly, constantly, constantly like, getting into it with her or doing stuff with her and she got tapes on people and all that kind of stuff i don't know but my thing is this chick can do and say what she want how she want to nobody ever like really comes for her i don't know hey it is what it is but anyway your boy hitman holla had a situation with his girl and stuff like that so he decided to like make a mad by posting a pic and stuff and it was like he knew that the shade room or somebody's going to get hold to it. So, of course, it was going to get back to her. But anyway, he says, since I'm blocked on everything, I figured Instagram would love these pics. And then Snoop Dogg had a nerd to come in talking about something. Like, you really got a nerd to be talking about somebody, you know, cheating on somebody or being with somebody, knowing what you've been doing. Anyway, he says, that's a cheap shower curtain. What hotel is that? I mean, motel. And you know who steps in the room? Selena Powell. She was like, at Snoop Dogg, the same one you took me to. <laughs> so, of course, she made sure that everybody knew that Snoop was a cheater and it went viral. I'm like, why in the world would he sit there and say something about anybody knowing he be cheating on his wife like crazy? I feel bad for his wife. Like, she been there for him since day one and they be the ones that they want to mess over like you know she down for you she had your kids she been there for you don't cheat on them, done cheated on them, and she's still there for you so you know good one she done seen this she probably sitting back feeling some kind of way i hate when these women have to go through this stuff hey but anyway so of course you know he feeling some kind of way because now he like oh man this girl done came at me again what i'm gonna do type thing oh i'm in trouble i'm caught up i know my wife's seeing this type thing so then he gives a so-called tribute to his wife. He posts a picture and he said, thanks for the kids, loyalty, stability, and the ability to deal with me on my worst days. You are appreciated. Really? Really? Like after all this stuff you don't, you don't put this woman through, it seemed like to me you would be like praising her all the time or talking about if you really love her like that. You'll be just bringing her up. Not every time Selena Powell steps in the room, you got to sit here and you got to feel like, oh, I got to praise my wife now. You should be praising her anyway. Like, she's there for you. She's been there since day one. Before you even got into all this rap game and became famous and all this stuff like this, she was there. She left you, but she'll probably take half or even more than half of what you got because that's how long she's been there. Yeah. But anyway, um, so... Selena threatens to release the sex tape with Snoop on OnlyFans account. So she said, I dropped exclusive never before seen tapes on 6 9 and Snoop. Swipe up. Y'all thought I was playing, huh? I keep every video. And so then she promotes her fans only page. So basically she got videos of some everybody on a fans only page. Mm, OnlyFans page, however you want to say it. Y'all want to go check that out? Y'all go check it out. That ain't for me. But yeah, so then she um, talks about Cat Stacks and how, you know, she posted her picture and talked about how, you know, she started everything and how she made her want to do this and she shows a picture of them together. Now, everybody's talking about and laughing, talking about how Celine Powell got her butt whooped. She got that butt molly whopped. She was seen at the hospital. She was in a wheelchair. She got that thing around her neck and all kinds of stuff. She looking crazy. She ended up sipping her tea. And she was talking about how, you know, it hurts, how she's hurting. 
And they were saying that Snoop had sent his goons over there to get hold to her. Nah, that ain't what really happened. Tory Lane's girlfriend went and handled that, but she went and got hold to her because apparently she got some video on Tory Lane's or she been dealing with Tory Lane's too. These women's gonna get tired of her after a while. Like, these men ain't like calling her out or saying nothing negative to her. And I feel like the reason why they not coming for her for Selena Powell like that as far as the men and be like, oh, why you doing this or nothing? Because they want to go back over there and slip into her DMs and go meet up with her again. Because you see how many times Snoop done met up with her. So, of course, he ain't going to say nothing bad about her. He's just going to try to pretend like he uplifting his wife because, you know, that's the only thing he can do. Because he's going to go, he planned to go back over there. So, nobody is going to talk any trash. And academics, you know, he don't have no girlfriend like that anyway. So, it don't matter to him. But Tory Lane's girlfriend says she wasn't playing that. So, she went and put the, the <laughs> smack down on her. But anyway, so y'all know the whole Princess and Ray J situation. So he's supposed to be in, in Vegas. They supposed to be in Vegas together. They supposed to be spending time together. He wasn't paying Princess no attention. He was over there with all the females as he do. But y'all was like, okay, he went and married this girl. For what? He knew he was not going to be faithful to Princess this whole time. Y'all excuse it, the trash man out there getting trash. But anyway, he knew he was not going to be faithful to her. Why would he do that? I guess he wanted to make it look good. I don't, you know, marry somebody because he's never really, really settled down with anybody. So anyway, he cheats on her and cheats on her and stuff and does stuff. Like, I felt like she really wanted this to work. But when he was on the show and he knocked her in the pool and he did all this stuff, he said all this stuff to her, she should have known. That was a red flag right there. That was a red flag. But a lot of times is, you know, when you're in love or you want something to work, you don't pay the red flag no attention to after it's over. So basically, she filed for divorce on Tuesday. And Ray J was like, you know, he was mad because she won't let me see my kids. I'm like, man, you was in Vegas that whole time. You was in Vegas that whole time. You weren't worried about seeing your kids. Now it's quarantine time and you want to see your kids. And she's like, no, you're going to quarantine for 14 days. You're not going to come see these kids. And he over there trying to act like he mad and trying to put it off on her. She won't let me see my kids. I won't let you see your kids. You going to quarantine for 14 days. You out here with all these chicks and all this other stuff. You might have the Rona. You're not coming here to get my kids the Rona. I'm sorry. So I don't see nothing wrong with that. I hate the fact that, you know, she had to go through this and they have to get a divorce and everything. But sometimes stuff just ain't going to work. It just ain't going to work. She done had enough. And this is one of them situations where she had enough and she like, she's not doing it. So I get it. You know, I hate to see it happen, but She's better off by herself and she just had a baby like she's sitting up pregnant, got a, a, a child on her hip while she's pregnant and you over here just acting stupid, just doing what you want to do. You should have been doing what you want to do a long time ago. But then again, they did have babies and that was a blessing. So everything happens for a reason. So, you know, I hate this ending like that. But anyway, so now y'all know Nicki Minaj, she was dropping hints that she was pregnant with her child from her husband mr patty so she was talking to her barbs doing a twitter question and answer on thursday nikki um dropped the news it all started when one fan asked if she's been busy cooking while self-quarantine and nikki respond that she experienced cravings of red meat salad and extra jalapenos then another picked up on nikki's hint and ask if she just so happened to be dealing with morning sickness. And she said, no throwing up, but nausea and pain nonstop. OMG, what do you think that means, guys? However, Nikki also told her fans they'll have to wait a couple months, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple months for a baby bump to reveal. So does that mean she's actually pregnant? She's having cravings. She's peeing a lot and all that kind of stuff. Does that actually mean that she's really having a baby with Mr. Petty? Now, you know, a lot of people have been coming out with this. I'm pregnant with whatever. I'm pregnant with this, this success. I'm pregnant with this, this, and that other. Do she actually mean she's actually pregnant or she mean you got to wait for the baby bump? She got something coming. You know what I'm saying? How people do that type of stuff. But seriously, she does want a family. She does want a child. And if this is what this is, congratulations to you, Nikki. You know, y'all always saying that I'm coming for Nikki. I have no problems with Nikki. I like Nikki. I really would love her to have a child. Like, I think that baby would be so gorgeous because 
she's very pretty and Mr. Petty ain't bad looking himself. So they'll have a few. And I think she will be a great mother because she was like really waiting on this. Like she said, she wanted her career to start and she wanted to do all that stuff when she was younger. She wasn't ready for a baby, but she always knew she wanted to have a family. So if she do end up having a baby, congratulations to her. And that baby will be so pretty and I can't wait to see it. But anyway, y'all, that is all for today. Y'all leave some comments down below on some topics y'all want me to speak on, some stuff y'all want me to do. Do y'all want me to do some reaction videos? Do y'all want me to do some gaming videos? Because I know some people's emailing me talking about gaming videos because I put up the one gaming video. I don't do a whole lot of gaming. My kids do most of the gaming, but every once in a while I might jump and do something just to test out a phone or to test out something. So y'all comment down below. Do y'all want me to do some more hair tutorial videos? Y'all see my hair is like actually growing and flourishing and getting thick and stuff. Do y'all want to do some more on my mixture? My Because it actually has people hair growing. I have like some of the emails and stuff. Like I got pictures of people, but I don't like to put up people pictures and stuff like that because... You know, it's their private stuff. They sent it to me. If they wanted it to be up somewhere else, they would have posted it, you know, Instagram or whatever like that. But anyway, if you want some hair videos, hair tutorial videos, like when I get ready to do like my quarantine hair or when I get ready to go back to work, got to change my hair. Do you want the growing videos, my progress and my growing? You, of course, I know y'all want some more tea videos, but y'all give me some ideas of some tea y'all want because I know most of y'all love some darn young boy and stuff like that. So I know y'all want some more young boy videos. Cardi B ain't doing a whole lot of stuff, so I can't get a whole lot on her. Like, give me some ideas of some other people you might want to hear me talk about. But y'all stay safe. I'm serious because this, this quarantine, this Rona thing is like getting real serious, y'all getting real serious a lot of people are upset because they can't go back to work yet which i get it because you got to make your money people are mad because people are actually going outside people are not wearing their masks you know all this stuff is going on people getting hurt and all this stuff because they're not doing what they're supposed to do or people are being extra aggressive because people are not wearing masks and stuff so y'all be safe when y'all go outside Y'all wear y'all masks. Y'all go in these stores, wear your gloves and stuff. Most of the time when I go in, I try to wear something on my hair too. Because like they said, the Rona can stay on metal. It can stay on plastic. It can stay on cardboard. It can actually even get in your hair. So I try to take and I try to wrap my hair up when I go out to the store and stuff. And so, you know, it won't be in my hair. And so that's another reason why I've been having to wash my hair a lot more often. And y'all remember when y'all get them packages and stuff, like I had got a package, I always spray mine down with Lysol. And then I take the Lysol wipes and stuff like that. And I'll leave it sit for like two, two or three days. And then I'll open it up because they said it sits on cardboard. It sits on all this stuff. So you got to remember when you're walking around and you're touching stuff, it's sitting on this stuff too. You got to remember you wipe your, your doorknobs down. Your, if you have, you know, stairs, the handles going down the stairs, anything that you'll possibly touch in your car because, of course, you're dr driving and you got your gloves on. I always take my gloves off, put my hand sanitizer on, and I wipe my steering wheel and stuff down. I wipe my handles and stuff down as I'm getting in and out the car. So you have to make sure that you're keeping yourself straight. I try not to take my kids to the store if I don't have to. Like, my youngest son hasn't been out to the store like in a store he's been in the car like if we go somewhere and pull up to a window or something he'll do that just to get out the house but like actually going in the store and stuff grocery store and stuff i try to keep him away from all that so i don't have to worry about him accidentally touching anything or accidentally rub it get something or doing something of course he wears gloves and he wears a mask and all that stuff too but you just have to be safe y'all be safe out here praying for everybody all right guys thank you guys for watching my video be blessed love y'all